Hi everybody, this is Tina Greenfield from Iowa DOT. I am the chair for the TRB Winter Maintenance Committee and I would like to give you a really quick update of some of the things that we are working on. First of all, we are a group of uh, state DOTs, uh, professors, and, and uh, students at universities, and we are, well, in, in the private private sector as well, people who across the world are interested in winter maintenance and everything in winter maintenance. We talk about policies, uh, new de-icing chemicals, uh, winter maintenance methods, strategies, tactics, things that people do actually while they're um, plowing snow or trying to figure out how to take care of a snow event. Uh, we're very interested in performance measurement in relation to winter operations, our impact on the environment, and how our, our actions and de-icing chemicals impact the environment and the world around us. Snow fence, uh, but just about anything you can think of that has anything to do with winter maintenance. We, of course, work very closely with some of our other TRB committees, uh, Surface Transportation Weather, and their role in the ARWIS and uh, roadside weather station monitoring, which of course is very important for the winter maintenance field, and also our uh, the equipment committee uh, in regards to the the plows and and trucks and and uh, things that that actually get the work done on the road, personnel and the folks who drive the truck. You don't have to be a member to participate in our committee. Uh, you can sign up as a friend of the committee on mytrb.org, and what that allows you to do is uh, receive emails from me or other folks from the committee as we're sending out uh, information about paper reviews or uh, upcoming committee activities, and gives you an opportunity to participate even if you don't, uh, uh, if you're even if you're not uh, an official member of the committee. Some of the things that we have been doing recently uh, are in February of 2016, we had a webinar on winter best maintenance practices in Europe, which was very well attended. Also in April 2016, we hosted an international conference and workshop on winter maintenance and surface transportation. We held this out in Fort Collins, and I'll be talking about this in the next couple of slides. At the last uh, 2017 annual meeting, we had several dis different sessions. We had um, a couple sessions, uh, event 325, which was a poster session uh, covering a lot of the, the good research that was done. Uh, event 395, which was a joint session with the maintenance committee, or maintenance equipment committee. Uh, we had another joint session, event 653, that was uh, in cooperation with our surface transportation weather committee on uh, some of the things that are happening in regarding with weather and winter maintenance and uh, uh, a general winter maintenance lectern session, event 453. As I mentioned on the previous slide, one of the biggest things that we had done since the last peer exchange is the Winter Maintenance and Surface Transportation Weather Conference. Uh, this was a conference out in Fort Collins, Colorado. And it was in partnership with the TRB Surface Transportation Weather Committee and the Equipment Committee, and also AASHTO SICOP. And uh, we had held these meetings, um, I think, every four years. And uh, the last, so the last one was in uh, 2012 in Iowa City. And for this particular meeting, we decided to kind of mix up our agenda a little bit and uh, uh, do something a little non-traditional actually something very similar to what we're doing right now. A lot of the papers were pre-recorded and put up on the internet for on-demand viewing so that folks who registered for the meeting can uh, view a lot of the information prior to attending so that we could spend the majority of the time in person uh, dedicated to discussing these and other topics of interest. In general, that format was really well received. We had um, a lot of people attend and a lot of people participate in breakout discussions. Uh, we had uh, several different topics that we had identified before the meeting that we wanted to cover. And um, we 
we had a, a really good participation with, with uh, state DOTs, private sector folks, and also uh, folks from universities talking about all kinds of things that uh, were hot topics for them as we move forward in the winter maintenance field. Now, all of these materials are available now online, um, including all the pre-recorded research presentations, uh, all of our notes and breakout session uh, scribbles, like you see here in this uh, diagram, plus all of the, the more consolidated notes that we uh, took at the end of the meeting that um, really summarized our discussions, plus any of the other presentations that were given um, during the meeting are also available on this link here. Our committee is uh, trying to um, work with the research community in finding some uh, more papers, seeking papers on sustainable de-icing practices. And uh, what this basically is, is a general call for papers. Uh, just to, just to let everybody know that the committee is interested in this topic. And this topic can include anything uh, regarding uh, balancing expectations of high level of service and making sure people are mobile and can get to where they want to go. But balancing that with the environmental impacts of uh, possibly higher salting rates and uh, things like that. Uh, water and soil testing protocols and practical guidelines for how to uh, manage the chloride loading in environments. We're also looking for more information on wastewater brine systems, systems that um, can uh, capture brine or uh, uh, wash water from trucks and use them in the brine making process. Um, other, other papers regarding mitigating the environmental risks of de-icing chemicals, particularly. Strategies for simply reducing our overall salt usage or whatever um, chemical it might be and uh, finding ways to achieve the same uh, or better level of service by simply just reducing our, our uh, uh, impact. And also any new commercially viable de-icing materials that folks might be coming across and how they might be incorporated into uh, an agency's uh, de-icing regimen. In addition, the committee is also um, updating our research needs statements. These are, uh, again, uh, general statements that let people know what we are interested in, a, in as a committee. And uh, one of those is automated and connected vehicle data for winter maintenance. Um, now, this can include things uh, such as using uh, fleet and private data for operations and a performance measurement, and, act and also how we can use automated vehicle technology within the plow itself. Uh, sustainable de-icing is, of course, um, also on our research need list, as I described in the previous slide. And then uh, we have an additional need statement for perform performance management and level of service, things such as cost for safety and mobility uh, and benefits for various uh, uh, levels of service targets that people have, uh, overall industry barriers and opportunities for improvement when it comes to uh, trying to develop a performance management system, the long-term effects of level of service goals, be it safety, mobility, or the impact to the environment, and uh, how to uh, balance safety and mobility and uh, methods for determining when it's best to road, uh, close a road. Uh, this, is, this is speaking towards the um, uh, apparent conflict sometimes between making sure that, that people can get there safely um, and uh, uh, which, are, are, you know, sometimes safety re might require a road closure, you know, to keep people out of trouble. But when you do that, uh, you're kind of cutting into the mobility aspect a little bit. So um, any work on, on uh, how to balance those two aspects. 
In 2018, uh, the TRB annual meeting is going to take place in Washington, D.C. on January 7th through the 11th. We are going to have a number of sessions and uh, um, a meeting there. Uh, the times, of course, are going to be to be determined. We don't have any of the uh, um, uh, agendas for that set, but uh, they will be sometime during this time frame, and it would be great if I could see you there. Thanks for watching this uh, little update on our surface tran or our, our, our winter committee update. And if you have any questions about um, the winter maintenance committee or um, how to become a friend of the committee, uh, you can contact me in this information here. I'll also be at the peer exchange, so you can find me there as well. Thanks for watching.